And don't worry about the Knicks, because it's your boy Chris with the Knicks. Alright, so I've been away for a while. Like I said, work and all types of other shit just comes into play. And um, it's just about that adult life. You know, you just got to make do. Keep going for your dreams. Don't let these corporations try to stop you from doing that. Because they would try to get you stuck in those type of jobs. And that's not my life. But um, anyways, so I just wanted to talk about this situation with a Kanika Jenkins. The Kanika Jenkins situation. Alright, so for those of you who do not know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this um, 18-year-old girl that uh, got found in the freezer after a night of partying with her friends, quote-unquote. Um, it's been all over the news. It's been all over Facebook, YouTube, and any other platform. And um, finally, I get to talk about it. And I know a lot of people always t- tell me, Oh, well, you always talk about fake friends. Oh, you always talk about um, stuff like that. It's, it's annoying. No, bitch. It's not annoying. Because it's stuff like this is the reason why I talk about this. Because you never know who's secretly jealous of you or secretly giving you the side eye. Okay, so... My opinion on the whole thing is... It's very uh, devastating. You know, not trying to put a halo over Kanika Jenkins, you know. But... She did not deserve to die that way. You know, um, okay, so for the video that I was watching of the Snapchat or live they was doing, that one was even like, you know, weary. That one with the orange bob and that other one with the, uh, her her so called best friend, the one with the, uh, the one that had her titties off, out, the one with the uh, hair in the bun. Them two, they have something to do with it, and for the police to beg somebody to give information, like what police station does that? Because most of the police stations that I know, they'll get your ass in a chokehold and try to get the information out of you. So for them to beg for information, that's just uh, crazy. And them two, they do, they the ones that had her set up. Because um, you could hear in the video, uh, the other one was like, ooh, I don't want to put my face in it. That's supposed to be Kanika's best friend. And the one <clears throat> with the orange bob said, oh, do you, uh, or well, did you have something else to do with uh, this going down? You, you have to pay very close attention to the video. And shout out to that um, lady with the red hair who dissected the video. They call her Ratchet Detective. Uh, she may be Ratchet, but she is very smart. Very smart. And um, even with that video, it's so dicey. And then they showed the video of Kanika supposedly, you know, walking herself to the freezer. But they never showed her going inside the freezer. And then even that video is dicey. I believe some parts of it is her. I don't believe the whole video is her. And then how does she just know that, like, where the freezer was at? What was her whole point of going to the freezer? <clears throat> if she was drugged and she could barely stand up, you know? Those walk-in freezers, I work, I work at a place where we have uh, walk-in freezers, you know? A re- not a retail, a warehouse. We have walk-in freezers. And you have to have strength to pull that open. So she was drunk or she was high. And she was already feeling weak. There was no way in hell she was going to open that freezer. And then if it wasn't on, it was, if it wasn't in use, then who turned it on? She, how could she just turn it on, you know? One of her homegirls worked for that hotel. So she pro- they probably put her in there. Because when they were saying, oh, they was raping her ass. And that other one with the orange bob, who was sketchy as fuck. I'm believing she might have been the ugly friend. And Monif, um, Kanika's best friend, the one with the uh, bun, I believe they they were secretly jealous of her. The one with the orange bow was probably the ugly friend. The other one was probably the okay friend. But because she got titties, they probably was just like, you know, trying to fuck with her. 
And so Kanika had, I guess, the whole package. And she was probably one of getting all the dudes, and that's, and that's why they set her up. Just like that other vi uh, video where them two so-called friends beat up the light skin, that light skin girl who sat on a hamburger. I'm like, I mean, I understand people don't play with their food, but like, ain't no way in hell you about to beat somebody ass that bad. <laughs> like they called your mama a bitch over a hamburger. I just think that it, like, they was sick with jealous her, and she was the friend that was getting all the dudes. And this is the same thing that's going on with Kanika. And second of all, even if they, these girls are stupid, because even if she would have lived, you still would have went to jail because you sold her into a sex trafficking. That's sex trafficking. <clears throat> that's pimp and prostitution. You know, why the hell would you sell your friend for $2,000? Uh, $2, and where is these broke niggas getting this $2,000 from? That's what I want to know. You know, your friend, you sold your friend for $2,000, so them two or three dudes can hit it. You know, if them, and them niggas are stupid, they would have went to jail too. <clears throat> for, uh, even though she was 18, so they wouldn't have went for minor, but still, she had no consent, even if you paid for it. If you wanted some snatch, you should have got it from the girls that gave you the money, not Kanika. You know, this is why you got to be careful about the, the the company you keep. And I'm going to keep saying that because not a lot of people care about you like that. A lot of people got some motives. A lot of people could be secretly jealous of you. You know, like that lady was saying with the red hair. Like she was saying, the power of money and the power of trying to get some dick and pussy is real. And it's the truth. You know, you already know the power of money. A lot of people do anything for money. A lot of people would... You know, I guess it's get rich or die trying. Or get somebody raped, I guess. I don't know. And we already know the power of money. A lot of people are just as scandalous as fuck. And then when it comes to getting some dick, in any case, or some pussy, you know, sorry to use vulgar language, but I'm just keeping it 100. You know, some people, you don't know who could be liking, you know, who could be feeling you. And some people might say no. You, they know you might say no. So they're going to get you drunk. They're going to get you drugged. And, you know, and they're going to try to have their way with you. Or, you know, some people, you, you could be dating somebody. Somebody wanted to date. And you dating somebody somebody might like. And they might try to, you know, push up on your girlfriend. Or push up on your man. You know, you have a lot of these scenarios. You have a lot of these people who will do stuff like that. So I'm always keen on people with the keep company you keep. Just like with these women who are single women. You got to be careful of the dude that you're dating. Because a lot of these sickos are now dating single women. Because they're trying to get to your hotter, younger daughter. Who could be underage? And it's a lot of these situations where this happens. So, I mean, but back to Kanika, like I'm saying, you know, them, them is some um, hating ass bitches. There's some, those some um, jealous ass people. Because how do you come back to somebody's house with all this shit? They car keys, they purse, they phone, and their um, car. But not them. And then if, if, you, and if that's your best friend, how you back posted on the block at home like ain't nothing happened. Or like your friend ain't missing. You would have stayed at that hotel and made sure that y'all find her. And then what they said, that she was acting stupid and that they put her out of the hotel. But why they just put her out and not everybody else? You know, usually when somebody acts stupid and you came with them, they usually throw everybody out. But what had happened was, I guess the friend was getting her fixed. So nigga was dicking her down the hallway or wherever. And then that's when Kanika was getting raped. And then after she, did, after she finished, after the dude finished, of course he bounced. Because you know how most dudes do they bounce. So now she's trying to find her friend. And I guess she all drugged up or somewhere, you know, passed up. 
And I guess they found her, and that's when they put her. Either the dude put her in the freezer, or the friends they put her in the freezer. Cause he probably they said she was fighting back when that when the um, when the raping was occurring, and if she was fighting back, and I don't know, she, he probably did choke her out, or she probably um, you know she her by her being high, you know, in, in her mind, her her heart rate probably did go up. You know, like I said, the situation is so dicey, and like I said, even even probably for the mama, they probably know who killed her. They probably know the niggas who did it. And I'm tired of it in the black community this the stupid ass no snitching policy. Because if you big and bad enough to hold a gun, or you big and bad enough to rape somebody against their will, you big and bad enough to go to jail. You know, all these niggas talk about. They the hardest nigga on the block. Can't no nigga see them. Can't, you know, da 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 this, da 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 that. But when it come time to go to jail, you can't nobody snitch on you. I, you know, I don't, I don't buy that. But however, the stupid ass no snitching policy needs to go out the door. You know, like I said, I'm not trying. I, and people who may say like, oh, are oh, you trying to paint her as the angel? You know. She was fast as hell. She had hoochie clothes on. You know, her mama knew she was out late at late night. Yeah, well, that may be. And so, yeah, she, you know, yeah, that may be. But I don't think she was going to the party just to get her rocks off. She was trying to have fun, but not that kind of fun. And, like I said, you know, that's her, her mother's job to raise her, not me. You know, and... She does not deserve to die like that, you know. For somebody to really set her up, like this generation, like it's so stupid as hell. Like this is what we doing now as friends. Instead of just not liking somebody, still not just like going away or like whatever. You you starting to have people set up to get raped, and you starting to have like all this crazy shit, dude. Like I'm not understanding this, you know. So, anyways. Comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Till then, this is me, your boy Chris with the next. Peace.